Welcome to Process Art for Preschool Fun with the Pioneer Library System. Today we'll be doing salt painting, rock painting, and cardboard cutout faces. Salt art. Today you'll just want to get some glue and some watercolors and some salt. You'll make your design first with the glue, whatever design you like. Kids will love this part. They'll love to squeeze the bottle, squeeze the glue out. And then you'll want to sprinkle salt over the top of where you have your glue. So just cover that generously with the salt. And then you'll want to take your watercolors and make sure they're pretty wet and just start painting right along the line where the glue is. And just drip that watercolor. And the salt draws the liquid in and makes a really cool design. Remember, painting is a great way to exercise your child's brain. Um, kids, active and creative uh, endeavors like painting uh, have the opportunity to use different parts of their brain than if they're doing reading or math. So this is a great, fun way to create a beautiful piece of art. And I'm sure they'll want to do more than one. It's so much fun. Next activity you may want to check out Rock Painting for Kids by Lynn Welford. For rock art today, we're going to make a couple of different designs. We're going to start out with just a simple stipple design or dot art. And you can use various objects that you find in your house, a chopstick, a pencil eraser, a marker and you can just make dots in whatever shape you want to make. So today we're just going to make a simple flower and you can just create a cluster of dots to make that flower. Kids will love this. For our next rock we will just fill that in with some solid color so we can make a heart. Um, kids can really use their own creativity. There's lots of things that they'll come up with, lots of ideas or designs. And the book um, rock art previously shown in addition to other materials that we have at the Pioneer Library System will give you so many wonderful ideas so uh, check out some of those materials and get started with rock painting it can really spruce up the garden and kids will be really proud of this project For a third and final activity, check out Art Workshop for Children by Barbara Rusi at the Pioneer Library System. In this book, you'll find instructions for cardboard collage faces. Children can cut out cardboard if you get the thinner cardboard, or if you have the thicker, you might have a little need to help them a little bit. You cut out all kinds of shapes. They don't have to even be traditional base shapes. And then kids can see what they can find in the, in the different shapes that you cut out. And glue those shapes together. This is great for um, recognition of shapes. It's great for creativity. It's just a lot of fun. We'll have a lot of fun creating with this. Um, all you need is Elmer's glue and some cardboard. So you're using things that you already have at home. And in this, uh, the book that I mentioned, there are lots of activities for things that you already have at home. So you don't have to go buy things. Here I'm just weighting it down so it can dry. And once you have your cardboard all dry together, you can start painting. So kids can choose the colors they'd like and get started painting in the face. It's good for color recognition as well. And you'll be really proud of their design. Hey, join us again next time when we do process art for preschool fun. Thanks for joining us today.
Thank you.